okay? Did I win? What's that? Did I win? Yeah. the 54 on our screen starting middle of the pack brexton bush they're they're all trying to find a spot in the line right now lenny as they came out to the racetrack and we'll he had a problem in, in practice yeah had a spin off at turn number four and we backed it into the infield the ak performance team worked really hard on that race car to get it back out here i know when we were over there uh just in between practices they were thrashing on that race car but got out here for qualifying looked pretty sporty we'll see what it can do from position number six the U.S. Legends Inex Winter Nationals about to get started. Green flag about to be in the air. Tim Terry on the mic. 
Bubbles Bronson waves the green flag and the beginners are underway for day number one of their feature event. And Matt Hodges looks underneath Evan Johnson as they go down into corner number one and two. And it looks like Hodges is going to separate the Johnsons and he might bring Bush with him. The 54 does make the move going into corner number three. Sweet corner entry for that 54. He holds it. And here comes Bush and they're going to battle side by side for fourth as you can, Which may be in the catbird seat because those two have any oh, kind of oh, oh, and there's yellow, a spin. Yellow, yellow, That's what I was thinking. Two, one, two, green, green. And just like that, we are back underway. Green flag flies. And Harley Johnson will now be the leader. We get a battle for position number two is Hemingway looked to Bush's inside, but Bush powers off a turn two and will take position number two. Yeah, that was a nice uh, try by Hemingway. It looks like uh Bush's car is more set up in the straightaway than Hemings, Hemingway's is. Anyway, we are getting ready to come to green. It's Harley Johnson and Brexton Bush, your front two, as we get ready to go with six laps remaining in the beginner feature on day number one of Winter Nationals. And here comes the 54. Yeah, just yanked on it, turned it left hard. He's down on the bottom of the racetrack, the 54 and the seven battle out of the corner. Brexton's got just enough of the nerf bar in front to say he led but that seven of johnson hadn't given us up at all not right now he's going to make him work for it and keep ooh, him pinched ooh. down they go grinding into the corner <laughs> swapping a little bit of vinyl up in front bush is going to go to the advantage down the back straight away now if you're johnson how do you get back there with four and a half laps left and there's a battle for third, but the battle for the lead is intense. They'll come by this time to the white flag. Final lap, Johnson goes wide, trying to get an entry into yellow, corner yellow, number yellow, one, and the two, yellow, yellow is yellow, out. Yellow, 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 turn two, go high, go high, go high, go high. Cannon the, race the is five not over. Uh, spun, not I over. It'll be a green and white together, race to a checker. One green, lap to go. Flag. Let's see it. And the seven did not get going. Green and white together, and there is a battle for second behind Brexton Bush down into corner number one. White and Hemingway for the runner-up position, but the 54 out in front of this field will come through three and come through four, and Brexton Bush will come up with the beginner bandolero win on day number one at Citrus County Checkered Speedway. Flag. What a flag. show, Lenny. Wow, that really, two. really was. And a bunch of happy people up there lane. in the uh, AK performance uh, hit three. area. Uh, the car is parked. And hopefully it will not move. Uh, years back, Tim Terry had a, uh, a car almost run him over backwards uh, in victory lane. Look at Brexton, the rowdies. Drink rowdy on the side of that helmet. And this young man has, has worked and worked, gone all over the country, running uh, outlaw carts and such, learning his race crafting, and be able to uh, go that Green and white to checker. Jim Terry down there trackside. Braxton Bush out of the car, a winner. My first time in a bando, and I won it, so it's really cool. Folks, give it up for Bre oh, One right. race in a bando, one win in a bando. Not bad, Lenny. in the stands. Did you hear us, Kyle? Yeah. I, 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 saw, yeah. I saw all the kids like doing this yeah. thing. Your race craft is what won you the race. So that, race craft? That's all we work on at Millbridge, buddy. The high entry, the low exit, the where to pass people, the setting up restarts, okay, all okay, that I stuff. Can, can. That's called race craft. Practice was pretty good, but the second practice was not good. What happened? I spun out, and then I swam the inside barrier. Mm -hmm. You it rolled didn't down hurt the track? Though. Yeah, it did not hurt. Well, that's good that you weren't hurt, but how? The car was really hurt. How bad was the car? The car was banged up a little bit. Um, we, the next four people had to weld. We, and we had to fix the rear bumper frame horns and put those back into place, because those 
pieces hold the rear uh, spoiler area of the race car on the bodywork as well. So we had to do some work to it, but we got it back. A Thankfully that work. those guys were there to help us with the grinders and the cutters and the welders and stuff. And, and we should park next to them every time. Park next to them every time? Well, that's whose car. That's whose car it is, so. Whose car is it? AK that's Performance. Car? Yeah, that's those guys. Oh. So they came over and they wrenched on it and helped us and we got it all back together. And then what? Then I went out for qualifying, qualified six. What'd you think about that? Not good. No? I thought we were going to be better. What about yeah, you? What were you thinking on that uh, last restart when you had the lead? On the last restart, whenever I had the lead, I won the race for it was a green, white, the green flag and white flag at the same time, and then the checkered was the next lap, and then I was like, then I, in my mind, I was like, oh my gosh, I won my first Bandolero race. That was cool, right? What would yeah. you think, Dad? I thought it was awesome. You should have heard the grandstands. Everybody in the grandstand, they were all screaming and cheering. Everybody was clapping for you. It was awesome. You did What's a good job. Of, I don't know, but you just outraced them there towards the end and did a good job with your race craft, and that's what we've been working on this whole time. You weren't the fastest guy, but uh, you were the smartest guy. Second so good job. I don't know. We'll have to look at the times on the feature. of the 54 car as Brexton Bush and Harley Johnson gonna lead this field through three and four. The beginner bandoleros on day number two are green. 54 takes him on the inside, but Johnson on the outside looks a little bit faster. Bush able to use that bottom line and grab the lead coming out of corner number two, take it down the back straightaway. He'll dive down into three. Logging some laps. That's a lot of what these beginner bandoleros need to do, whether you're Brexton Bush, who is still new to uh, bandolero racing or any of them out there. It's to get those laps, make those turns, and be able to develop the skill process that's going to take you up through the bandolero ladder and up into Legends and beyond. Brexton Bush begins to build a lead on the rest of this field. It's about half a straightaway. Back to the 1X of Gerald White the third, as everybody behind does a little scattering and job timing Lenny we are getting back to going racing four laps remaining the time limit has been reached the next flag will end the race after the green flag and Brexton Bush has control of this one green flag in the air and look at that seven of Johnson making the move what a run by Johnson to try to pick up the advantage as he goes by on the outside Nevertheless, white flag fly. Oh, hello. Johnson sideways. Bush to the outside. And they'll go side by side into one and two. Oh, boy, contact. Oh, wow. That's not right, uh, what either of those checker, two wanted to see. And we'll uh, work his way around. Here's a replay. There's the leaders. Now, they've made contact uh, before. And then the seven pushes up into the 54 in that corner. Uh, we'll see it once again as they come through two. I think the incident actually started as they came out of four. There was some contact between uh, the 54 and the seven. And uh, maybe we'll see it there. No, it had already happened. The seven and the 54 had gotten together somewhat on the front stretch. And then the magnetic field, here we go, here we go, coming through four. And the seven pushes up on his own. There was no contact between them then. And no contact uh, that I could see coming out of four down the front stretch. So that's clean. And then the seven pushing up in as he exited the corner. Uh, seven might not have uh, been handling very well at all. Well, either way, they'll get that sorted out. They'll be back tomorrow for more of this. And hang on. We'll be right back. So if we're not leading, what are we going to do? Go right on them. Yep. Yeah. They might call you back for it, but I want to see you try. At least the first time, right? Let's watch this one. 16's right here. Let's leave a little bit of a gap. He takes off right in the center in 3 and 4, right underneath the 66. Right? What three things are we going to focus on this race?
wheel mark on uh, Little Bush's car there on the right side. That's that's just that shows you were here. Yes, that shows Second, that you were here. You were doing some horns, racing. Tones and turn four. And the way his hands move so gently uh, across that wheel, even when he's under green under fire, flag. pretty good race crafting for him. We go green when they come to you. Green flag is out, and we are underway on day number three of NX Winter Nationals. The top two drivers have been back and forth all week long, but uh, Gerald White was able to take away the victory. Gerald White III yesterday was able to sneak in and grab a victory as the, oh, trouble, almost great save by Johnson in the number seven as that thing was dead sideways off of four, and Bush will take the advantage. Seven of Johnson in behind Brexton Bush in the 54. Green flag flies, and we are back underway as the single file line funnels down into turn number one. Bush's starts are really strong. That car came right up to speed, did what it needed to do, and then uh, pulled away from Johnson. So uh, seven liked the outside the last couple of days to try to make a pass. We'll see if he uh, attempts it there again. Has a head of steam down into three. Little bump to the 54. Gets the 54 up out of the groove. And another little bump out of turn number four. The seven means business here as Harley Johnson trying to take it away from Brexton Bush. Yeah, the, the first one was kind of a little bit of a bump. The uh, second one, uh, Mama Bush probably didn't appreciate her babe getting uh, you know <laughs> pumped like that. That was that was pretty tough. Yeah, he uh, the 54 really showing some composure there after that. Didn't try to go back after him. Here comes Johnson though on the inside. Bush closes the door. That was a bit of a slam there. That'll let you know don't don't be hitting my nerf bars or I'll chop the nose off. And that's uh, pretty much what Bush did there. It keeps him out front. They come to the white flag in the beginner division. Final lap for the Bandoleros as they headed down into corner number one for the final time. And lap traffic set ahead of them. Where does the seven car go to get by Brexton Bush? Bush to the inside. Johnson to the outside. They'll drag race to the stripes. Seven on the outside. Checkered flag. Oh, trouble. Oh, uh, checker, wheel off. Checker, Bush trying checker. to, uh, you know, the hold winner, the seven off before the, the stripe. You okay? Did I win? What's that? Did I win? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, Jerry Jordan kicking the tires that net. Um, <laughs> I think that's the checker. Wow. What are you watching? Brexton's racing right now. Oh, okay. Well, wait. I think that's the check. He won by .08 over the second place kid. So about that much. <laughs> huh? Where's he racing? Yeah, where's he? Uh, they're over the same place Keelan is right now. They're in uh, Citrus County Speedway over just south of uh, Ocala. So, yep, he just won. Nice. Congrats. Cool. All right, thanks. Justin Bush, congratulations. What happened across the line? I don't know what happened, but I think the seven um, tried to get on, um, on the outside of me, but across the finish, I still got it, but at least um, I'm fine. How big is momentum here the next couple of days now that you got two wins on your back? Um, they're going to be coming for me to try to get the win, so hopefully we can keep them away from the win. You got a quick race car and a good team. Congratulations. Thank you. That's Brexton Bush, folks. Give it up for your winner in the beginner Bandoleros. You did a nice job on your restarts. Did everyone get messed up? No, nobody got messed up, but they were just clean. They weren't all... Like how... Everybody was going every which direction and people passing people. Like, you went early enough that nobody else was going yet. And you did the turn down, which was nice, so nobody got a run on you. It was all pretty even. It was good, clean starts. What, Dad? You gonna be Tim Richmond or when you grow up or what? What is that? <laughs> Show off all your chest hair.
mistake. It's not me. <laughs> it's you. I wish it was me. I would claim that. So this is the beginner bandolero lineup for this afternoon's racing action on round number four, day number four, a beautiful Thursday here at Citrus County Speedway. On the pole position from Mooresville, North Carolina is car number 54, two-time winner this week, Brexton Bush. And great start by Bush, but here comes Johnson on the outside. Yeah, Johnson's been right there, been his nemesis all the way through. And uh, Johnson against Bush. Boy, it harkens back uh, about a decade ago uh, to the Cup Series. Bush is doing... He's able to get that uh, point, and then it's really, you know, uh, kind of a, a difficult challenge for the seven to figure out how to get around the 54, and that's not going to be easy even if they were geared the same. So the 54 is Johnson, the white seven, or excuse me, the white seven is Johnson, the 54 is Bush. Has to keep it through one and two as Bush gets the run out of the second corner and builds a lead on the seven. Time quickly running out for Johnson. They'll come by to four laps to go this time by. And the gap is about a car length between the top two. Time winding down, but Bush working like a Swiss watch. Look what look at those hands inside of Bush's 54. Just smooth, does what he needs to do, makes the car go where he wants it to, and continues to uh, have the advantage over Johnson. Come out of corner number four. It's all you, Tim. The seven at Johnson took a look yesterday, and it was a close finish between these two who is going to come out on top on a Thursday afternoon down the back straight away for the final time in the beginner bandolero feature is the 18 dead ahead here comes the seven to the inside little contact yellow, up yellow, the hill yellow, 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 and Lenny they did not take a checkered flag they took a yellow Tough break for those two as we will see where they slot into line. And again, two quick race cars, two beginner drivers learning the ropes, and they they both want to win this race. And we saw that yeah. happen one more time coming out of turn four. Yeah, there's Mazzagatti in the purple machine, the lap car. Seven to the rear, seven to the rear. Seven behind the 54 at the rear. White picked up one early this week, and he may get another one. In the back pocket is the 38 rounds, corners number three and four. They'll come to the checkered this time, and Gerald White the third picks up a second victory. Checkered that, checkered GW3, that. Oh, oh, one spin in there oh. off the corner. Great save to keep it off of John 38 Kelly. To victory lane, 38 to victory lane. Wow. 54's grandfather, Tom, is probably watching yep. uh, up here in the Carolinas. His dad's probably over there in the uh, east coast of the state, getting ready to uh, go to work himself. But uh, here is the starting lineup. Harley Johnson and Brexton Bush are the front row. To set the stage here as we are at one to green, the 54 Brexton Bush has two wins. The 38 inside row number three of jo or Gerald White has two wins. Somebody's trying to break the tie and Harley Johnson's at speed all week long. He comes to green, we are underway. Coming out of corner number two, Johnson and Bush were in that uh, memorable moment at the finish. That Oh, and Johnson just dove it oh. in too low, yellow, yellow, and yellow, the yellow, thing yellow, turned yellow, around yellow, on him, yellow, and yellow, oh, yellow. a big impact. So Bush and Johnson down into the corner, and they, there seems to be pretty good separation between these oh, two. Yeah. I, I think Johnson just nicked the inside there, oh. and then... Yeah, Cannon couldn't get woed up enough. As they battle it out, there is your leader. That is the 54 of Brexton yellow, Bush, yellow, and yellow, the yellow flag yellow, flies. Yellow, yellow, it's yellow, Hodges yellow, around yellow, in two. Yellow, yellow. Green Do you guys know Tom. that that is happening green, on green, screen green. when it happens? Well, we just took the time flag out of the flag stand, so may maybe we'll give these guys a couple more laps. We'll see what happens here. I know, Brexton Bush is really... This, this is his most dominant performance of the three that uh, he has gotten to this position in. We, uh, we get to see him now. There is Brexton, about a uh, half a straightaway lead, and uh, just clicking off laps. He's made plenty of practice laps, been out there racing in the winged outlaw cart world, and right now he knows he's just got to keep doing what he's doing until he sees the white and then eventually the checkered flag here at Citrus County. As we watch Brexton Bush, he'll bring it down the back straightaway. He's just a few corners away from getting his opportunity to talk to Tim Terry in victory lane. He's going to make the yellow, turn yellow, out of yellow, corner yellow, number yellow four. Two, yellow, 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 two, yellow, 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 two. And we get a yellow. 
green and white together. Final lap of racing for the beginner Bandoleros down into turn number one. Brexton Bush gets a great start on Johnson. Johnson trying to keep in his tire tracks. Down the back straightaway for the final time on day number five of NX Winter Nationals. And it's all Brexton Bush checkered flag for the 54. Rowdy Brex Helmet comes up. Go ahead. Brexton Bush climbing from the car, a winner. Three wins this week and a dominating performance to close off this final day at NX Winter Nationals. Three big wins this week. What does it mean to take away three wins in your first big week of Bandolero racing? It's pretty good. It feels pretty good because it's my first nat races and because it's the Nationals and I got it. So how do you celebrate three wins this week? I don't know. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Brexton Bush is your winner. What a way to kick off a Friday afternoon here at Citrus County Speedway.